actual fact all you need to do is just simply press it out. It is a blind end race and that part there is not part of the casing that actually is the end of the needle roller bearing. So all you need to do is put this into a hydraulic press and very carefully press that out. It might be possible to drift it out with a hammer. Um, I chose not to do that in case I fractured the casing. Um, but actual fact it, it should be quite simple to do that. You might be able to heat it up possibly and expand the casing slightly to make it easier. Um, when it actually came out I was surprised to find that this steel cage for the needle race is actually very very thin metal. It's less than a millimetre, possibly even just half a millimetre. So the thing you will have to watch very carefully is when you press the new one in that you don't distort it as it's going in because that will just simply then bind uh, and you won't be able to press it all the way in. So what the engineer did for, me, for, for this for me was he actually pressed it out that way out. Well, we there, there's the race. And he actually used the drum to do that. So he put the drum in like that, and he put something in here to bear on to the bearing itself, and then pressed from the top of the drum and pushed it straight away throughout the back. And then he put the new bearing sitting inside here, and he used the selector drum again to press the new bearing in. So he actually just put the drum straight into the bearing, which obviously was sitting proud up here, and then just very slowly and gradually pressed it in uh, into the casing. Now, one thing I did notice when I took this out was that the bearing actually sits proud of the casing on the inside. And I wasn't sure why that was, but we put it back exactly as it came out. Um, and